Today we're going to look at the Rogetti Pano 5 Plus 1 Mark II mount. We're going to take a little closer look. Uh, today we're going to do three things. We're going to take a closer look at the case that it comes in, what else you can store in it. I want to see what water bottles you can actually use as a tripod. You can connect the actual mount to a water bottle. And then we're also going to actually go through the whole entire walkthrough of how to create a 360 photo with the mount and then the workflow and how I stitch it all together and we're going to see the result of that. So first, let's take a look at this case. You can fit two GoPros in. You can put a Hero 4 inside the actual uh, adapter. You can fit another GoPro in here. You can fit two batteries in here, and then you can fit your Hero 5 inside the actual case like that. So that's pretty neat. Now let's take a look at what water bottles actually fit on the bottom of the mount. The first one we have is a Dizani water bottle. So this one works perfect. Nice and tight. Doesn't leak. That one works too. Nice and tight. That fits nice. It pushes that little seal down, but that doesn't matter. So that fits nice and tight. Now for a regular water bottle. This is a generic brand from our store. So this one doesn't fit. The thread size is a little different. The thread is different. See? Slightly different sizes. So any kind of Coke product or that size bottle, that should work fine. Now that we know what water bottles actually fit with the mount, let's take a look at taking the photos and stitching them together. Depending on what tripod you have, uh, like this is a quarter inch thread and this is a 3 8 inch, so you can actually take the little quarter inch adapter and we'll screw it right in here. Then we'll put this right on top of the tripod. Next we grab the Pano 5 plus 1 mount and we put this on. So you'll slide the GoPro right into the Pano 5 plus 1 just like that and then we'll take five pictures going all the way around in a circle. So we'll take one here, one here, one here, one here, and one here. When you get back around to where you started You'll take your camera out and you'll put the camera in this way. So you want to make sure that your lens is at the front here. See that? If you put it in this way, your image will be slightly off. It, the GoPro doesn't really fit in that way, but if you're using the adapter, it goes in smoothly either way. So you want to make sure that the lens is at the front here, just like that. So you put the GoPro right in the top. Take another picture, GoPro, take a photo. Just like that. And now we switch over to the Nadir patch mount. So we'll do two of these. Slides in perfectly, just like that. Step out of the photo. GoPro, take a photo. We'll turn it. Clicks into place. Same thing. GoPro, take a photo. And then we're all set. So you'll take this out. Now we'll take a look at actually how you stitch all the photos together. After you've taken your photos, you're going to go to your computer and open up your stitching software. I'm using Color Auto Pano Giga. So we'll open this up and we'll import our pictures. Here. So we have one, two, three, four. Five. And then I took the same picture twice. So I have this one, and we have the one looking up at the ceiling, and then we have the two uh, nadir patches. So we'll detect the images. 
All right, it looks like it did a pretty nice job of stitching it together. I don't see any white spots. So let's jump in here and edit it. When you patch this together, you're taking a picture and it, and it includes this plastic mount. So how do we get rid of that? The first thing I'm going to do is turn off all the pictures except for these two shots. So I have just this one and that one, seven and eight. So now what I want to do is I'm going to go to the masking tool and I'm going to remove this plastic here and then I'm going to remove the plastic here. So that should help and then the only thing that will be left will be this center piece which is pretty small and reasonable. You'd throw a logo over there anyway. So we'll turn all of our photos back on and we will now export this. So we're gonna save our changes here. All right, let's render this and see how it looks. There it is. YouTube Mark II, we're gonna open this up with GoPro VR Player. Zoom out a bit. Now I can look around. Looks really nice. Nice, our nadir patched perfectly. You can't see the plastic, extra plastic pieces. This is really nice. So the, the Rogetti mount, I mean, it, it captures at every angle perfectly. So, I mean, you're gonna get a, a really clean stitch here. Whoa. Now you know what my kitchen looks like. <laughs>